Hi everyone, my name's Jason Roberts. Welcome to my course, Arca.net Persistence Fundamentals. I'm a Microsoft.net MVP, freelance developer and author. In this course, we're going to learn about the core features of Ocker.net Persistence and how we can use these features to restore internal actor state if the actor restarts or the server crashes. Some of the major topics that we'll cover in this course include why we might want to use persistent actors and the problems they solve, how to refactor existing actors to be persistent, how Ocker.Persistence supports multiple backend data stores, and how to improve actor recovery speeds by using optional snapshots. By the end of this course, you'll understand how to get started creating persistent actors that can restore their state, how to configure a persistent backend store such as SQL Server, how to think in terms of events and commands, and how to implement performance improving snapshots. Before beginning the course, you should be familiar writing c -sharp code in Visual Studio and also the fundamentals of Ocker.net such as the concepts of actors and messages. I hope you'll join me on this journey with the Ocker.net Persistence Fundamentals course at Pluralsight.